Russian scientists are developing a probe penetrator to study Venus and other planets. Why does it look like a missile? And what is the mysterious ghost station from the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics that has been discovered in space? In the studio, Yulia Shustraya with a fresh batch of technology news. About 20 years ago, an object was discovered in space that puzzled scientists for a long time with its strange behavior. As it orbits the Sun, it crosses the orbits of Earth and Venus, shines by reflecting light, but does not have the usual comet tail. And just last week, after calculating its trajectory, researchers suggested that this is none other than the Soviet automatic interplanetary station, Venera 2. It was launched back in 1965, but as it approached its target, it stopped transmitting signals and was lost. Now, 60 years later, it is highly likely that the mysterious object is indeed that very one. It's shining because it reflects light from its solar panels and other structures. But what were our scientists looking for on Venus? This planet is called Earth's sister because of its similar mass and size as well as other parameters. Studying Venus gives valuable insights into solar system and Earth formation and helps predict future developments. But the conditions there are extremely harsh, the temperature exceeds 400 degrees Celsius and the atmosphere, with clouds of sulfuric acid, is very dense and quickly destroys all electronics. By the way, despite the failure of the Venera 2 station, it was our country that later landed as many as five spacecraft on the unapproachable planet. But after that, flights there almost completely stopped. It's just too difficult, even by today's standards. However, we're not used to giving up. Recently, my scientists presented a technology for landing a penetrator probe on Venus. The idea is that after entering the atmosphere, it doesn't slow down, but instead accelerates using a jet engine and literally shoots into the surface, embedding itself several meters deep. This lets it spend less time in the hot atmosphere and access previously unreachable data from deeper soil layers. It seems simple and logical, but in reality, no one in the world has been able to make such a probe yet. Rocket engines and materials must function in harsh conditions, reaching temperatures up to 1000 degrees. But in Russia, anything is possible. Several tests have been done and descent simulation programs patented. Our well-known successes in creating hypersonic missiles, which also have to withstand extreme conditions, give us hope for the successful completion of the penetrator probe's development. By the way, it can be used not only on Venus, but also on any celestial body with an atmosphere. We will closely follow the developments and tell you about them in future episodes, so don't forget to subscribe. Time forward, see you next time.